What's up guys, I have a, another knife review for you today. This is the Monterey Bay Knives uh, Min Pin. And the designer is Ray Laconico. Um, from what I understand about this uh, company, the design, uh, Ray Laconico designs it. This Monterey Bay company um, then contracts out with uh, some vendor in China and I'm not sure if it is uh, Wee Knives or or who it is but the pivot got a little loose um, just from flicking it out um, yeah you can see it's a little off-centered but um, oh it's solid um, I don't know why it's like that. Let's try and fix it. Um, I don't know. I haven't disassembled the knife. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it needed to be loosened, but this definitely needs to be Loctited. Um. Okay, yeah, so that's the, um, background of, of where these knives, uh, come from. Um have to tell you it is plus pluses and minuses this is it does flip out very good there um, now I am experiencing some lock stick on this um, so as you can see it's just titanium right up against the steel no over travel stop um, and there is some pretty somewhat serious lock stick it's not the worst i've ever had but it's not uh it's probably s second place <laughs> let's put it that way um let's take a look at the pocket clip what it looks like it does a pretty good job it's a milled clip um there is some sticking out but it's pretty nice it's okay um that's probably one of my worst complaints is there's no lock bar insert um for a knife this that costs this much and i believe this is in the 250 range maybe close to 300 i'm going to put the uh, price and stats up right now before i forget so go ahead and um pause and read if you need that but for that kind of price coming out of china um i would i'd expect a lock bar insert with over travel stop that's pretty standard um i some pluses to the, the good flipping action um maybe a little too hard on the de on the detent but um the blade is very nice it's this blasted um blasted uh finish on the blade on the bevel and then um on the flats kind of like a horizontal satin it's very nice looking and the blade shape is awesome always nice clip point blade um, I always enjoyed R Ray Laconico's design so these holes right here are a nice touch um, you do feel them when you're oh man that is painful that is very painful trying to get that you do feel that what I was gonna say is you your thumb kinda sits right there it's kinda cool um, and then you gotta try to unlock it again not not very happy with that um, yeah so I wouldn't I, I can't really and this is only one knife now maybe I, maybe it's not um, keeps going off center because it needs Loctite um, so maybe this is not the best example but um if other ones have this same problem with the lock stick, I couldn't really recommend the knife for the price. There's just a lot more out there. Another knock I have is the Ergos. So this thing is right here, and then you have a big old... It's almost like it wants to be a choil. I wish they would have actually made a place for a choil because that would have actually solved the Ergo problems. Because right now, when you're back here, this is not um, very comfortable. I don't like a three-finger grip it's pretty much it. you can barely feel your your finger on there um i don't like 
I just don't like the way that feels. I, I'd like to have more, um, I would like to have my pinky more encompassed. Um, the Keen, the Master of Keen, uh, did a better job with the handle. You can get all your fingers on there. This, it just, I want some, I just want more, a little more handle on this. Um, I believe this is a, it almost looks like a carbon fiber backspacer by the way the, the lines are. It almost looks carbon fiber, but vertic, um, the other different way, so... That would be interesting to see if someone t took it apart to see how it looked right there because that, the way the lines are, it almost looks like carbon fiber. But if it's not carbon fiber, it's a G10 backspacer. So there you go. There is the Monterey Bay Knives um, symbol there and Ray Laconico. Now this is, there is no blade steel, but... I think it's S thirty five VN. Again, when you when I show the stats it will show the look at that. That should not be I should not have that on my thumb when I try to disengage a lock bar. Once it clears it it will shake close. Um so yeah. That's my review. I don't um I like I, things that I like. I like the action is pretty good. Flipping action. Lock disengagement is bad. Blade shape is awesome. Ergos are not my favorite. Um, good materials, but it's just, I can't recommend this in, in this kind of competitive uh, market today. So um, that's all I got, guys. You have a good one.